But that's not that's three not what it was. I have, my children, I, I have about two different men. And I was in a 12 year relationship that was abusive. I escaped that by God's grace. I give thanks every day. And so when I moved on to the Jesus. I <laughs> Order 66. Order 66. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because in this moment, when she said that she want all the men to have compassion, I was in an abusive relationship. Uh, she want men to say, okay, I'll wipe you up now. I understand. How many kids you got? I got three. You got three? Yeah. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Yes. Okay. How many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? How many kids and your you preference. have? I have three. You have 25, three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's no, there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand when it comes to a man of top tier, right? We give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that 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 disqualifies yourself. <laughs> so that's exactly right why because there's billions of women on this planet all right brian so you came out episode 15 i was like brian what are some of your deal breakers you said you don't have no not one not any but as we saw as you went down the line you did have a deal breaker and that was women that have multiple baby daddies right so you know what do you is that something you came out knowing or of you course, know? of course, I came out knowing, but for that right person, I will compromise for that, mm -hmm. right? And I think every man will compromise for that if they come in with multiple kids for multiple different men, right? Okay. We got to like them like that. Um, that was my deal breaker, but like I said on the show, then I would extend grace for somebody that I'm feeling like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what that was. Okay. So then um, why is that something you didn't say like up front when I was like, oh, what's your deal breaker? Right. Um, because I didn't, because after listening to the women, I don't know which one I was going to like, you know, I didn't as far as their responses, who I was going to uh, attract or, you know, pull energy from. So I didn't really know who I was going to feel mm -hmm. until I heard what they had to say. So that's that grace part right there, right? I'll tell you what, this dude is a simp. Just observe. We was rocking with him when he was up on the episode, just observing him now. You know, he's a simp. And shout out to he the queen. He the queen says most men are simps. I don't disagree. The majority, because you'll see a man like him, People will say he's rough around the edges. He probably been to prison. He got tattoos on his neck and hand. He could be a tough guy. That still don't mean you can't be a simp. And we got to hey. stop that. You know, we can see some of our best athletes, millionaires, no matter what. It, I mean, you could be a simp. It don't matter your walk of life. Like I'm not saying all men are simps. I didn't say all. What I'm saying is. Those standards, boundaries, and expectations are for the ugly women. She's for that's for the women that you don't want. When you find a woman that you do want, you're gonna do what's necessary. Well, no, because a man, well, well, let me say this: a man gonna stand on business. He's acting like it's a moving scale, like, oh, if you got three kids. If a man say he don't date women with children, that's what he means. This guy's up here, like, oh, well, it depends. Well, you start hear what I said. Exactly. You didn't hear what I said. What I said was, those rules are for the ugly women that you don't want. When you find a woman that you want, those rules are not going to apply. And I'm telling you, that's not Why? true. That's, that, that's only true for the simps. That's what I'm no, no, about. no, no, no. Because yeah. there's some really good men. There's some really no, no, good that's women. what I just said. You may think that, but that person's really a simp. That's what I just hit on. Then, it, then the bulk of y'all are simps then. I don't disagree at this point. I, I, observing all this data, I don't disagree. At, at all. I agree. Okay. It okay. But well, then we I, agree on that right there. We yeah, agree on that. Most, but yeah, most guys are simps. I know this dude yeah. is weird. I knew. I didn't see his personality before. I knew who he was. Right. Yeah, he just, he's sitting there just where he's sitting, how he's sitting. He think he's him, you know, and he's just not. He got that. I don't know if he's been to jail, but he got that old gynocratic jailhouse persona. Right. And I say gynocratic jailhouse because even though he comes across as tough, one of these women can manipulate the heck out of him because he's under Order 66. That's why he start backpedaling. 
talking about oh any man would change kids. no they won't now no he should say bro <laughs> some wait a minute some wait a minute guys. order 66 explain that to me real quick order 66 obviously it's too much uh he and the queen order 66 is where women rule they rule and they have they have all authority and they come with little to no resources okay they, okay. they rule with our fist even though they it's just it's all it's backwards okay. so they they in the gynocracy a million look at um kurt franklin a millionaire son can be talked down to by his broke auntie who he's paying for that's the gynocracy wicked so order 66 so there are men under the order 66 too right but, for sure, for sure, yes, ma yes, yes. Most, the standard so is that uh, most men, but most men are born into it. You got to fight your way out of oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Okay, I got it. Got it, got it. Okay. So here we go. So even if they had multiple different kids with multiple different men, if I still like them like that, I would accept that, like real men do. Okay, okay. So you're and that's what I just meant. I hate to stop it again, but my God, that's exactly what I just said. I, I don't care if you got multiple kids by multiple men. It just depends. That's what real men do. That is that was so damn feminine and simpish. Order 66, heathen queen, 100 percent Anytime anybody talk about a real man taking care of stepkids, that's the epitome of order 66. <laughs> well, no, because you don't understand. Because my mama got multiple kids by multiple men, and she deserves a good man. No, the hell she don't. She in the same boat. That's what y'all men need to understand. Your mama is in this boat. And I want some of y'all to understand that. Y'all want to save some of these women because you want to save your mama, but you can't. And that, Mr. X, you just, that's treason against Order 66. And that's why, that's one of the number one pushback statements. You sit up here and try to say something, hold women accountable for their own good. And they're going to say, your mama black? Your, your mama big? You wouldn't dare say that to her. How dare you say it to me? But when you like, I have. I've talked to her. I let her know she big and she got in the gym. And you big too. And now you sassy. <laughs> now you sassy and all of the above. You're everything but a man now for, for being a man. And I'll say the same thing goes for our mothers. Y'all must understand there's no hypocrisy around here. And that's part of the problem. Our moms is in that same damn boat with the rest of these bonquishas. It's unfortunate. Yes, my mom was a thug, baby. I done seen my mom pick women up and slam them. Why y'all? <laughs> so, here we go. Hit the like button. <laughs> Saying like you didn't want to say that just in case one of them popped on you? All along with a pop if I was saying who I was going to uh, attract or, you know, pull energy from. So, I didn't really know who I was going to feel until I heard what they had to say. So that's that grace part right there, right? So even if they had multiple different kids from multiple different men, if I still like them like that, I would accept that, like real men do. Okay, okay. So you're kind of saying like you didn't want to say that just in case one of them popped on you? All along with a pop if I say that. He was testing the waters. Yeah. But he was giving nobody grace. Why are you saying? Well, grace, I mean, even, no even, grace. even though that we, sure. we, we talked, me and this guy earlier, we was joking around. He said nothing wrong. Like it devalues the woman when you go through multiple men and have multiple baby daddies. We don't want to deal with that. If you got three kids and three baby daddies, it's like, damn, your decision making skills are horrible. Y'all forget okay. that y'all the ones who and then, right there. And then y'all forget that we're, well, I'm 41 years old. I got a 25 year old child. So you're basing your perception of me from 25 years ago. Come on. I'm not that person that, I, I'm not that kid that I was 25 years ago. Speak on. And I'm not that young adult that I was 25 years ago. I oh! oh. This, this what we're talking about. This woman got three kids by two or three men. Her cuda kata has been expunged though. So when you, when she go and file that job application and they go, ma'am, you had a felony 25 years ago. No, that's expunged off my record. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. It's still on your damn cuda kata facts. It's a fact. It's in your blood, running through your blood stream and it's on your face. The fact it's in the delivery and the demeanor. The fact that she got to sit there and and she's so aggressive about this position, like ladies, just how men 
don't can't afford to come over on the internet complaining and stuff about what they what they ain't getting. Women, anytime y'all aggressive about y'all being healed and not who y'all used to be, it's bull jive. Bull jive. She can't say that calm in a cutesy, demure demeanor, then it ain't true. Look at her. She she having flashbacks right now. Of well, the other sister was down there. She was like, tell him. Get him, girl. Ain't that the truth? Like, are you getting the desired results? That's at the end of the day, that's always going to be my question. You getting your desired results? No, because I'm single by choice, huh? He's the queen. <laughs> so I'm going to take this back a second and we'll get y'all in here. That was wild. Of yeah. course, of course, I came out knowing, but for that right person, I will compromise for that, mm -hmm. right? And I think every man will compromise for that if they come in with multiple kids for multiple different men, right? Okay. We got to like them like that. Um, that was my deal breaker, but like I said on the show, then I would extend grace for somebody that I'm feeling like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what that was. Okay. So then um, why is that something you didn't say like up front when I was like, oh, what's your deal breaker? Um, because I didn't, because after listening to the women, I don't know which one I was going to like, you know, I didn't, as far as their responses, who I was going to uh, attract or, you know, pull energy from. So I didn't really know who I was going to feel mm -hmm. until I heard what they had to say. So that's that grace part right there. Right. So even if they had multiple different kids from multiple different men, if I still like them like that, I would accept that like real men do. Okay. Okay. So you're kind of saying like you didn't want to say that just in case one of them popped on you? All I would have popped if I yeah. said that. He was testing the waters. Yeah. But he was giving nobody grace. Why are you saying? Well, grace. Well, I mean, even, no even, grace. even though you that we, sure. we, we talked, me and this guy earlier, we was joking around. He said nothing wrong. Like it devalues the woman when you go through multiple men and have multiple baby daddies. We don't want to deal with that. If you got three kids and three baby daddies, it's like, damn, your decision making skills are horrible. Y'all forget okay. that y'all the ones who and then, right there. And then y'all forget that we're, well, I'm 41 years old. I got a 25 year old child. So you're basing your perception of me from 25 years ago. Come on. I'm not that person that I, I'm not that kid that I was. We got to stop. I'm trying to let her go. I promise she you. Said, but man, this keeps she triggering said me. Kid. I well, wasn't she was that. Well, she was she was 16. She got pregnant at 15 years old. Oh, okay. I, she, she's trying to make this sound good. I, I've been saying this all night. Men don't have this empathy and sympathy. All you did was just showed us the miles that you got on yourself. How long you've been out here screwing and how your cooter kind of blowed out. That didn't help you by you saying you had a kid at 15 and we should understand because now you're 41 very detrimental it shows us how early you got started with that whole shit yeah yeah and how <laughs> deep it goes back to your 15 you've been doing this for 30 about 30 years and then like, look at her presentation look at her she's saying all that where her boobs her, pushed about to fall her out. yeah and and sunglasses clipped onto her shirt it's like do better if you don't come from that point of view they just up here to make a point. <laughs> but oh, but the way she looks is the red flag from her decision 25 years ago. It's like she never learned anything. Thank you. That's what I always say. They say don't don't judge me on my past, but your past is looking me in the face. Right. It's not gone. It's still very much in the present. Right. Thank you. Just because you got new weave and you're a little bigger. And, and you got new words and your vocabulary right. don't mean you changed. Have your actions, have your demeanor and habits changed? So here we go, me. Oh, child. So you're basing your. Uh, earlier, we was joking around. He said nothing wrong. Like it devalues the woman when you go through multiple men and have multiple baby daddies. We don't want to deal with that. If you got three kids and three baby daddies. It's like, damn, your decision making skills are horrible. Y'all forget okay. that y'all are the ones who and then, right there. And then y'all forget that we're, well, I'm 41 years old. I got a 25 year old child. So you're basing your perception of me from 25 years ago. Come on. I'm not that person that I, I'm not that kid that I was 25 years ago. Speak on. And I'm not that young adult that I was 25 years ago. I've grown from that. I've healed from that. I now make better choices, better decisions. Right. And I live more of a, a healthy love life, you right. know, than I did then. So you're going to tell me, oh, well, you got this many kids. 
I can't date you. No, oh, not, but that no, happened 25 years ago. At kids. what point are you going to give grace? It's, like, at, at how long are you going to, um, I don't want to use the word punish, you know, for lack of better words, mm-hmm. a woman for her past. It's like, Brian the, came out and said, I don't judge a woman from their past. You know, judged. we all make mistakes. And then he basically just flat out judged. That's the gentleman's <laughs> preference. We're not. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's nuts. She said, you going to punish me from a decision 25 years ago? The dating market, ladies, listen, listen clear. The dating market has no heartbeat. The dating market don't have empathy and sympathy. It don't, it don't. It, I don't know why they don't understand that part. I, I believe, because what else do, do they have to believe? If they sit here, she like, you really going, no one's telling them this. Again, I'm I'm blaming the gynocracy. This is the first time, and they mad at a simping brother, like because he tried to hold them a little, a little bit accountable. Just point out observable truth, like, hey, you got three kids, you know, this ain't this ain't gonna work. How long y'all gonna punish us for having children? You know what I'm saying? And and now y'all don't want to date us? No, actually, the answer is no. There are certain there are. The guy that these women desire and, and cry out to week in and week out, he don't want a woman with kids. Can you not understand that? And I've said before, every man wants the ability to be able to pedestalize their woman to some extent, to some extent. And it's much harder whenever I'm looking at your trophy from another relationship with another dude. Why can't y'all understand that there's a particular guy that won't have nothing to do with that because he can't love you the way you want to be loved. It's it's pity, if you will, why he won't date y'all. So what you got, HQ? Should these women should these women be able to expunge their coup de cata and then later in life get a good man? Um, Because it's it's something they can't change. It's it's a decision. You, See, the problem is people make these decisions when they're young and dumb and full of calm, right? And then you don't have, you can't turn the clock back and say, I don't have kids. So let me so, say this real quick, HQ, because yeah. you said in weeks past, we had this discussion about, right. you know, me and Mr. Walker are telling these women to keep their legs closed. Right. And you would say, you know, try to protect yourself the best way you can. But like we say, this type of stuff is, is not foolproof. So you... The potential of you having a child, you know, being intimate that early and then you full bar. That's mm-hmm. why we don't want to see these ladies wind up like this because we know we got right. that foresight. I mean, it's I mean, it's it's a, it's a plain, simple. Yes, you have. I, I hate to say ruin. You have marred. Let's say you have marred your chances of having a productive relationship with a man if you have another child by another man right let's put it that way you have marred your chances that's an observable fact it is what it is but the whole point is how they have a point too the men have a point and the and women have a point the men have a point you shouldn't have a baby by somebody that's not that you're not married to i get it but how long are you going to punish me for that we're going to punish you until the kid is out of the house. Put it just like that. We're going to punish you until all kids that you have are out of the house. That's the Let, only me say thing this. Let me say this. There is a demographic of men that won't punish her at all. The men that she qualify for. But the men that she don't qualify for, they're never going to stop holding her accountable. Because they they work too damn hard. They're worth too much. And the problem is, but they will still, she, she may find herself in bed with some of these guys, but they will never m- marry her. And that's why you get these women like her saying, guys play too much. No, they play too much. They know they didn't overkick their coverage when they got that ninja driving that car, living that lifestyle. It was like, I can't believe I'm with this dude. And because it was only for the night. So a sister like her, she is still with that delusion causing them to keep trying to shoot their shot at high earning and or high value men mm-hmm. and they don't qualify and they just keep getting their hearts broke i get i get all of that but i'm i, I get all that I, I mean i understand the whole thing there's nothing to be said 
everything is all everything is always to the negative when you have children from multiple men or you have children without having a husband it is what it is you can't you can't change it it's something that you can't change until you don't have children in the house anymore until you get old enough where that doesn't matter children doesn't matter right well let me say this when the kids is out the house now and you you in your 40s right do you still got this perspective this dating perspective like all right kids out the house i'm reborn i'm like 25 again i got the same dating prospects that i did when i was 21 and childless now that i'm 44 and kids is out the house no you don't have that so you don't have that perspective or you shouldn't they shouldn't have the yeah, same perspective but some of them, no some of oh, them do of course, not. of course not you shouldn't be you shouldn't have that kind of perspective because you change totally completely what, what you change uh, you're a different person from when you had a child at 17 as opposed to 47 or 37. You're a completely different person, right? So, I mean, you shouldn't be held to the same standards that you did at 17. And I get it. If you have a child at 17, you shouldn't expect to find uh, 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 the same thing as a person who didn't have a child, right? I get all that. But when you get older, you get a certain time. She's 41. Her child is not in the house. Why should she well, be? Two of them are. Two of the kids are still in the house. I thought she was saying she only had 25. Oh, one she got three kids. She got three kids. Oh, well. Oh, okay. three dudes. Well, then you shouldn't expect anything until after those kids get out of the house. I wouldn't expect anything until after the kids got out of the house. I wouldn't expect anything. I wouldn't be given anything. You know, I'd still be hunching, but I just wouldn't have no. You know, I just wouldn't be bringing no dude home and on top of the kids. Well, I'm keeping it in 100. What you want me to say? I, okay. I so listen, all that being said, we got a name for that woman around I'd here. I do that too, I guess. If 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 I had to, I mean, I, I it would be hard to say that I would throw men away until my kid was out of in right. in, in college. But well, you know, listen, if you I'd got a kid, them home, no, right, right. If you got a kid and you still out here hunching, all right, but you know you foobar. This how you look. They need to eat me out. Hi, I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? And somebody, yeah, will, and somebody will hit that too. Yeah, great somebody team. will <laughs> hit that too. Let me ask y'all this. Is it safe to say in 2024, you are either pound town shorty or you a wife? You know, and it, is it really not an in-between? <laughs> Yeah, but what do you expect a woman to do? In cell, I guess. A woman in cell would be an yeah. in-between. What, but... what do you expect a woman to do? If she if she has two children and she makes that, she does that role where she has two children and those children are young and the daddy leaves them or she leaves the daddy or however it becomes and she has two children. And she says, "Okay, I'm not. I'm going to. I'm not going to bring children up above my children, or bring another man up above my children. And I don't plan to get married. You don't expect her to be celibate for 15 years before she has a before she gets involved with some other man, uh, uh, just to be on the wayside. No human being is going to do that. No, no human being is going to do that." So, so why not just say, don't married, have babies out of wedlock? Right. Why, why not course. just say, if you're going to have sex, have sex, but don't bring children into the world that are starting out in broken homes. Yeah, but we, we understand that. But, but we, we got to stop understand. them from doing that because we, we know they're not going to stop having sex. But and they're not, so, well, they not going to stop having kids. because in, in some states, they don't have that option. That's why y'all got to be more careful with y'all cuda cotta. You can't just go get kids deleted no more. I found some women on a panel talking about they don't want their daughters to have no birth control because it is chemically imbalancing them or, or this, that, and the third. As long as I got modern day women on panel saying that there's going to be women out here, girls out here having babies. Well, so that's still that's madness. That so you know, I, was, I, I don't understand. I don't understand that thought process. But I'm saying, as long as people out here having sex, and we know they're gonna be out here having sex, they're gonna be out here having babies. If they got mothers like that who don't believe in giving their children birth control, right? There's there's way too many forms of birth control. Some now here's the thing: there are some 
that will cause hormonal imbalances that have been known to. I ain't no woman, so I'm going off what I think I know, right. you know, yeah. but there are so many forms, you know, yes, I think as far as but no, not having bad hormonal imbalances, I believe that I got dang on cricket. I think that uh, the copper, uh, what's it called? IED. The I think IED. that does. Okay. That, yeah, that does yeah. not have, you know, uh, any right. hormonal imbalance issues, but yeah, but yeah just be careful. That's, but and, I and wouldn't say, of it, I'll say these, uh, birth control is not new HQ. You sitting up here acting like this is like a new discovery. We just found out. No, I'm not, ago. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, yeah, what I'm saying, saying the is, women on the panel, the women birth on the control, panel. This stuff has been around for decades. The, the, birth, the rates are going down. These women aren't, you see, the change ain't happening. The only thing they can do is keep their legs closed. We have yet to practice that. We tried this birth control well, stuff. Saying, we but tried I'm saying, it. We tried all this stuff. Women are, not, this doing, stuff. Women are not doing that. Men, I mean, they're work. not doing that. I'm work. saying, you telling women to keep their legs closed, that doesn't work. So only, Just, we ain't tried it. And it don't, and it don't, don't work. work with... Yes, it would. Yes, it would. It has. We've been getting. Oh, we women have, have been getting this message forever, and no. men have been getting this message forever. They all been getting. No, this they message. haven't practiced it. Y'all have practiced the art of using birth control. Y'all put this stuff in y'all body. Y'all have not practiced keeping y'all legs closed. Y'all don't practice. They ain't gonna well, explain it's to me the what best. man. Tell no, them it's for explain the to me what man. Tell them it's for the legs closed. I would shoot. God dang it. The no. gynocracy lied to him, lied to him. Say it's a contest. If you keep your legs closed to you 21, you get a thousand dollars. Lie to I don't know, but explain make it desirable. Me Why is the it so man hard? man that's gonna not have sex. Please explain <laughs> to me the man that's right not now. gonna have sex. Well, well, it's easy. Just talk to the women. How's they gonna do it? If you tell the women, we ain't telling the men. We tell the women to keep their legs closed. Tell them when they violate you. Women, women, do women, oh, women today's modern woman wants power. Women. Too. Right. Tell them say say your power relies in your ability to say no. Right. Tell yes. them that say that's yes. where that's yes. that's really your only power. You know, as a woman, you don't control much, but you do control access to your body. Yes, you, you can should. say all of right. that. We can say all of that. I'm a proponent of birth control. I'm a proponent of that. Because I know you're not going to be able to keep your loads. I know you're not going to do that because you're going to sneak off and do what you want to do. I get all that. So I am a, I am one of those people who believe in giving girls birth control, giving guys, con giving these people these tools so they won't get pregnant, so they won't get STD. I'm not foolish enough to think they're not going to have sex. There is no yeah. tools. To, see, that's where you got to miss me. There's no tools to stop pregnancy and HTD, STDs. There's no, you can't just say that's too much of a coverall. You're going to get one. So either you're going to get pregnant or you're going to catch the clap messing with HQ. Which one you want? What? Yeah. <laughs> Taking your advice, they will either get pregnant or catch I, the I clap. Ain't giving, no, I'm, I'm not, not giving you any advice. advice. That's not what I, I'm not giving it's anything. Crazy. I'm saying it's a 100 going to be hunting. It's a hundred percent fact that if they out here listening to you and hunting, they will catch an STD or get pregnant. It's a hundred percent. Who am I tell? I'm not telling anybody to have sex anywhere. I'm not saying anything. I'm it's saying what, it, I'm it, not it, ignorant it, enough it, not to it, know it, that they're not what, going to have sex. No, it's what I we feel you, HQ. You're not tell understood. You, I will go on limb say you tell them not to. It's the it's what's implied when handing them that birth so control. I'm not supposed to give no. I'm not supposed to give no birth control. I'm not supposed no, to say, oh, I don't oh, want okay. you to have sex. No, that's not it. What we are saying is we don't want to use birth control as, hey, this is the remedy to the problem. Well, we, you know, we need, I we need understand more. that. That's, that's, I all, understand that, that's it. That, we don't want to paint this as if birth control so is, we do? is it. So what do we do instead? No, like I because said. It's, it's, like, it's like you telling, you know, you give me your teenage son a car and you telling him to put a seatbelt on and no matter how fast he drive or no matter what he hits, he's going to be safe if he just put the seatbelt on. And that's not true. So what are we saying to them then? What do you mean? I'm saying you you guys say don't tell them to use birth control. What, what are you telling? I, them? No, no, no. That's not what that's not what I said at all. Dude, if, that's, if, if that's needed, that's needed. But I'm saying education is needed as well. Like strong, like not just here, be safe, be careful, don't mess with boys. I'm talking about real life education. Like what? Like straight, 
lot huh some videos some video footage of what happens when you get out here and go mess around and get these unforgivables in your bloodstream that's what scared me we used to have gym class and our gym teacher was the best man shout yes, out to mr but, Cole. But, he would be um, like he like come here he like you want to mess around and he was a smooth dude you know what i'm saying he wasn't no dork so it's easy to listen to him and he come look at this he like you want to mess around and he show you you know the pictures of the stds and I don't know about y'all, but I was like, that's a bet. <laughs> I well, a lot, of time, a lot of times by that time, it's too late. It's up yeah. to the parents. You got to do it in these houses. Yeah, you know, but I believe kids, that we, we get if it. If you're we not educating it. your kids, you simply stop lying to your children. Tell them the truth. Yes, you that's the, the truth. They still going to have sex. It's, you know what? I don't really But here's the I, thing. It was the Bible thumpers that took the birth control, the schooling, the birth control schooling out of the schools. It was the Bible thumpers who put who took it out of the school. Let's not give them no sex education because if we give them sex education and we give them videos, then they're going to have sex. So let's take that out of the schools. That's where they made that mistake. Education is the key. But since you got Bible thumpers who don't want it in the schools, you don't have no education because parents at home don't understand the gravity of not having birth control, of you know not what? abstaining from sex. There you go. So, so you, you, right. you need to talk to the Bible thumper people so, who wait, wanted understand. it out of the schools. So the, they, the Bible thumpers went out of the school because of what it implies. It implies. Right. Yeah, and, and But here's the thing, too. So on their part. They also stop having programs like the silver ring thing and, mm. and programs that uh, preached and, and uh, taught, you know, being celibate or an abstinence to young women. Those programs are gone. So, you know, you can't take away this uh, birth control and also the teaching. We done lost both now. So, yeah, you know, the, we whole, had point, the whole point is no they teaching. need to be educated. If they don't get the education, they need to be flooded with this information uh uh birth control don't have sex the uh the whole night what happens when you get pregnant what happens if you do this they need to be flooded with this education so they understand the consequences they don't have nobody educating them anywhere where they got education was in the schools now there ain't no education so people doing whatever they want to do People walking around saying, I'm having sex and I'm doing what I want to do and I ain't wearing no birth control. I ain't using no birth control. Well, how that sound? How, that don't even sound logical to me where you say you proud of the fact that you rolling around in the sheets with somebody and you don't have no condom on and you ain't wearing no, no you ain't using no protection. Well, I'll okay? say this. I, I'll say a lot of this information is out here. A lot of parents, even watching me and Mr. Walker at Single by Choices. If some of y'all sat down and watched this with y'all kids and explained some of this stuff, and even though we go into detail, if y'all just sat there and just double down on what we're saying and give a little bit more extra information and help mm, the kids, the stuff is right in front of you. Just educate them. Yeah, well, when it's done, tell me when it's done. On y'all, he's right. like, wait a minute, Ma, what do you say? And then mm -hmm. he'll go back. And I'm like, Nevin, that's not, I didn't want you to get that of it but right. if if whatever is appealing to his little mind okay go back and listen to them i don't mind but in the car he does that a lot he skips right. back to hear what y'all say and i think it works you right. know the yeah but, he but the girls now you but know? Here, here's the question how, how you gonna get bum keisha to teach a little nug nug what we talking about hmm Right. Little bum key, bum key, she ain't finna teach nug nug nothing. No, and that's no, no. why. So that's no, no, no. why it's important for it to be in the schools, so they're forced to listen to this information. No, bum, no. Bum, bum, bum key, she ain't teaching nug nug nothing. You know what? That's we got a lot of them kids at home. What's amazing about that is little little baby nug nug don't control access to hunching. I don't know why you're going to keep doing this. So, yeah, education needs to go. It don't matter. Both. They both need to be educated. I, I, I agree with that. I agree. But we got to start with a – We I got to start with a starting point. A you strong starting point. If, the you, if, we start, if we start with educating these young women and showing them the, the, the horrors of moving like a 304, that's it. 
Now, but it has no, to no, be. wait now. Look, check it out. It's I'm gonna connect these dots now. Little Nug Nug, come to this educated young sister. She's been educated. No, Nug Nug, you can't get my goodies. Anything after this, the law will prosecute you if you touch me. <laughs> now, what are we talking about, Heather Queen? Yeah, <laughs> they're not. They are not gonna do the the Bible thumpers are not gonna allow this shit to happen. And that's a lie. That's a lie. HQ, that's a lie. That's a lie. So you just can't. Well, you you explain to me the where Bible there's a program stuff. where I can send my HQ. my 11 and 12 year old daughters to. Explain to well, me the that's program. That's got nothing to do with the Bible thumpers. That's my only point. You got to stop saying that. Because so they do this about sex education. Sex education. Oh, right now teaching about LGBT and they got different yeah. bathrooms. It has nothing to do with the Bible, cause that stuff wouldn't be in there. So stop the cap. No, I'm saying the I'm saying sex education got taken out of the schools because of the Bible thumpers. That's but, okay, took it out so of the they, okay. So you saying they took sex sex education out, but now they put you know let's teach the kids about trans and all this stuff. Yeah, the but Bible you going down a rabbit hole. We talking about sex education. No, it's now, all is the there, same. Is there, is there a thumpers. program that you so can take a child and learn? The Bible thumpers took that out, and now they want the kids to learn about LGBT. Well, yeah, because that's sexual preference. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's it should odd, of, that should be a part of some education, but there ain't no part. Show me a program where you can take your 12 and 13 year old bum Keisha, can take her kid that her kids are forced to learn all of these things that they're supposed to learn without you, without bum Keisha having any kind of uh thought to it. Please explain where it's at. Because I don't know any place that teaches kids this, this kind of stuff, that has these kind of programs on a mass scale. I don't know any place that does that on a mass scale. The only place to indoctrinate those children for that kind of thing would be in a school. That's it. Ain't nobody teaching, ain't nobody, and Bum Keisha ain't taking her kid to no, no clinic. And, I, and I agree. And, and, that's, that's why I, I'm on the record by sitting up here saying it's over. There is no solution. I've stressed this enough. There is no I solution. Say put, I say put sex education back into the school. Oh, it's all over. Because with your bum Keisha ain't going to reinforce nothing at the house. She's yeah. actually going to do the opposite. So you right. can go to school and get all the sex education you want, and you're going to get home, and your mom going to hand you a blunt in the 40 and tell you to have fun. You, you It's going. It's counterproductive. It's it's over. There, it's, it, no type that no type of education going to be re I mean, you can you can school. They keep cutting funding. They keep cutting funding. So yeah, Wait that's we, we got to connect. Ain't no going back. Sex education shall never be reintroduced back to the school. They continue to cut funding for schools every year. That definitely ain't going back. So like it's like it's really over. It's, it really starts and ends at home. Like that's it. Like you got to teach your own kids and and for the children of Bonquisha, God speed. May they endure their Adobe and make it through. It is what it is. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, we we have to admit that that's where we I got it. That's where I got sex education from. That's where I learned it. That's where I learned everything I need to uh, before everything happened. That's where I learned most of it. Right? Me too. Me too. But they don't have it anymore because somebody mm -hmm. they took it out of schools. I learned right. from school and my mom. Right. And and, and like listening to nuns at school, you right. know, and they just always put the fear of God in me. That's why I'm a mm -hmm. bit prudish to this day. But yeah, man, I, I don't in 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 Germany and Europe, there's not a bunch of separation between little boys and little girls. Right. You're socialized together at a very early age and you, you just know you keep your hands to yourself and you don't, you don't make babies right. out of, you never bring home children. And my dad used to always tell me, you know, bringing home a baby isn't the worst thing that can happen to you that, you know, you could have AIDS or HIV. Right. You know, I have a best friend right now, very beautiful woman she is HIV positive and has been HIV positive since we were 34. Right. So I'm 42 going on 43 in December. Right. And, you know, she, it's been, she's been unable to have children because of it. And right. she's been unable to find a life 
partner because of it. Mm. So for mm. any young lady out there that mm. says, you know, oh, birth control, not in my body, you know, well, maybe you won't get pregnant. Maybe there's another package you'll receive. Right. And that one won't go away with prescription. Right. That one, you would be begging for something you could ingest to make it go away. Right. And it never will, you know? So I like, yeah, I, it, it's, it's tricky because, you, you know, it's human nature to have sex. It's human nature to right. do that. But as humans, we have the right to say, okay, I had a good time last night doesn't mean I need to bring a baby into this world and raise it for 18 years and right. hold this man's balls to the wall just because of a one night stand. I decided to make him a father, the most important role a man's ever going to have in his life. I'm going to deem it necessary to put that on him because I have the power. That is just, you know, young ladies, y'all got to chill with that. Y'all, and, and I'll stay. I'll say a lot of it, you know, like we said, starts at home. You know, most of these kids are unsupervised. I can speak for myself and say, you know, as a kid, virtually everything wrong that I did was a product of being unsupervised. Right. You know, all the stuff, like you said, you've been <laughs> messing around with young girls. All the stuff comes down to being unsupervised, right. not only by your parents, but by the community. Because <laughs> yeah. all of our parents were not supervised. It was no supervision. So. You know, if you live in a good community where you got a bunch of responsible parents all and we all hold our kids accountable right. and I'm going to hold your kids accountable, too. <laughs> that's how you build. But you can't live somewhere where nobody's holding anybody accountable. That's it. I was watching uh, the brother Farrakhan, a little real with him today, talking about how resourceful men have to take on the responsibility of becoming uh, uh, active in their community. You know, I can't me, Mr. Walker. I can't just be sitting here saying my kids good, my family good, and they is. <laughs> I can't just be that. That ain't. That's not right. But I need to take the initiative. Like, you know what? Like Gav said, and I do. It comes naturally because it's who I am. When I see other kids and stuff, you know, whatever. Yes, I need. I want you to know this is a safe space. That the image of the wholesome father, grandfather needs to be bought back to life that's one of that's one of my missions that go accomplish it because i'm and tired the same thing with your kids as well you you would want somebody because we can't watch our kids 24 hours a day exactly. so i would want the responsible people around me to look out for my children as well daggone right and that that's it for daggone sure hey listen when i see mr x child out that's like my child at that point shoot yes as far as protection and yes x yeah and that's what builds community that's what builds trust that's what builds power economics but that's a whole other deal but that's what it's about man and that's like i said that's part of my life's mission so yeah you can't just keep all this wholesome teaching in your own home you, right. you got to spill it out into your community it's a if if you're brave enough but i know me myself mm -hmm. i grew up around a lot of cowardice ass men and mm -hmm. i was for their cowardice mm. i mean i was uh, i wish i wish it could be uh i wish there was some kind of program or something that could be you know we could take a hold of these young women and say this this is what your future looks like if you do this or if you do that but it's always a lot of resentment if you go into the you know poor neighborhoods and you want to have conversations with young the young ladies at the Y or at a, at a community center. And, it, you know, you always got bum Keisha coming in who really don't want you to talk to their daughter. They see how you dress, see how you drive up. And then they got a little resentment towards you when you come in and try to teach their daughter some things. Believe me, I used to work in shelters and things like that. Ooh, uh, HQ. And, uh, I know exactly what she's talking about. Like, yeah, and it's difficult. It's difficult. I mean, I wish y'all could introduce. I mean, I used to teach people a, a GED, get, you know, get a guy's GED. So, I mean, I got used to working in the community where I would help people do those kind of things. But the women are something different from the men. If you try to teach their daughters this, this, and this, I would love to educate the women in the neighborhood, the girls in the neighborhood about doing this and, and, and taking birth control and not having sex and not doing this, that, and the other. Boy, but they, they this social media is like a monster. 
uh it's like a whole nother mother you 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 can't they they listen to everything on here before they listen to me right huh. and you, you ain't cool enough right. and that's another right. thing i realized like i know our elders you know didn't make responsibility and accountability seem cool or, or satisfying at all so you don't know say hq and that's something like i do like if i'm talking to the kids i try not to come off all dry and depressed the way I remember my elders being talking about accountability and being a good person. Like I believe that it's our responsibility to see these problems and do the best that we can as individuals to make accountability, living wholesome, you know, being God fearing. We got to make it look good, but it only going to look good if it's genuine got to be real kids can smell bs and that's another problem i when i was a kid couldn't no adult lie to me i could smell your bs and these kids ain't no different so if you try to go to them trying to teach them something that you don't practice they're gonna smell it and they're gonna laugh in your face <laughs> shout out to low key come through all night tonight one of our big show sponsors appreciate you man says no hq we don't want you educating our young women shout out to hq she trying loki she trying <laughs> so here we go i'm gonna take this back we get hq back up to close the show out values the woman when you go through multiple men and have multiple baby daddies we don't want to never... deal with that if you got three kids and three baby daddies it's like, damn, your decision making skills are horrible. Y'all forget okay. that y'all are the ones who and say then, right there. And then y'all forget that we're, well, I'm 41 years old. I got a 25 year old child. So you're basing your perception of me from 25 years ago. Come on. I'm not that person that I, I'm not that kid that I was 25 years ago. Speak on. And I'm not that young adult that I was 25 years ago. I've grown from that. I've healed from that. I now make better choices, better decisions. Right. And I live more of a, a healthy love life, you right. know, than I did then. So you're going to tell me, oh, well, you got this many kids. I can't date you. No, oh, but that happened that. 25 years it's ago. At of what kids. point are you going to give grace? It's like, at, at how long are you going to, um, I don't want to use the word punish, you know, for lack of better words, mm -hmm. a woman for her past. It's like, Brian came out and said, I don't judge a woman from their past. You know, judged. we all make mistakes. And then he basically just flat out judged. That's the gentleman's <laughs> preference. We're not judging you for how many kids. Yeah. It's how many baby fathers you got. If you, okay, if you get have, with a guy, and I'm 40 years old, per yeah. se, and I have eight kids by by six different women. Yeah, that says something. And then everybody's situation is different. That like four we kids all have different four daddies, daddies. But that's not that's three not kids what it and was. Three I have, my children, I, I have about two different men, and I was in a 12 year relationship that was abusive. I escaped that by God's grace. I give thanks every day. And so when I moved on to the Jesus. <laughs> I can't make, I can't make order 66. Order 66. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because in this moment, when she said that she want all the men to have compassion, I was in an abusive relationship. Uh, she wanted men to say, okay, I'll wipe you up now. I understand. Yes, exactly. Oh, you were, you were, and it's not cool however this is dating she said that as if that made her situation better no that 12-year relationship i was for one she said i was in a 12-year relationship so that makes it better and it was abusive so that makes it better because you're gonna feel sympathy and empathy for me i was abused that is extremely unfortunate however what they got to do with this new man like I'm, I'm serious. Like they don't understand that. What if a guy? What if well, I it makes it worse? Because now you be like, do I got to worry about this ninja? And she gonna buy if you scared, just say so. Terrified, <laughs> terrified. You scared of? Huh? You call the police? The police scared? Everybody scared of? But no, the ladies, being in an abusive relationship is extremely unfortunate. At the same time, come on, man, got to look within. We we are what we attract. 
That's a fact. You, any woman that's truly healed, look back on an abusive relationship, can say, you know what? I know why I was there. I know what I was doing wrong or how the wrong way I was thinking that kept me there. Not just I was a dainty little flower and I was getting going upside my head every day. That's not how it yeah. goes. 25 years ago and then 25 years later you're on the balloon pop show like the growth it was so expansive like come on please please it's just bird talk it's it. constant bird talk like it doesn't match lady it doesn't match <laughs> the growth you say you had from when you were 16 up until now, you're in your 40s and you're on the balloon pop show arguing with people about the bad decisions you made in your life when we can clearly still see that they're still happening. Like, please. It's so, it's like, really nobody, the women wouldn't believe the men if they were up here talking like this. If it was, if it was reversed and the men were talking like the women, the women would be saying the same thing y'all are saying. That's why it's so disingenuous for them to get up here and talk. they're always the victim, perpetual victim to yes, the drama it. that they create. It's wild, just like HQ says, it's wild, like, and, and the, that brother, the bald head brother, tried to give her some perspective. He said, if I was up here with eight kids by however many women, that would say something about me. And that was, that's it. He said, I, there's no difference. It kind of is a difference, but he still tried to make that comparison. And she said, nah, everybody's situation is different and that's why she had to throw on the domestic violence to show just how different her situation Hers was but was. it's not any different because it's the standard order 66 package say that i was abused whether it be physical or mental and and just keep on riding the negativity train and pushing every every blame and onus on the man because it can never be my fault i'm the perfect eve Get out of here. Well, here we go. I'm going to uh, take it back in a second. We'll get HQ back up here when we come. But that's not, that's not what it was. I have, my children, I, I have about two different men. And I was in a 12-year relationship that was abusive. I escaped that by God's grace. I give thanks every day. And so when I moved on to the next relationship, I'm just looking for something better than what I had. And just because it was better doesn't mean it was for me. So when I realized... This isn't for me. You know, should I marry this man just because society is going to look at me like I'm a failure as a mother or as a woman? Or no, should I keep going and look for what is really for me? And I'm not going to say that I've made man? all the best decisions as a young adult. I never I never said I made the best decisions. And that's but, what we're referring to, the yeah. decision-making skills. Yeah. You know? In but that's past. now. Yeah, that's in the past. In the past. So you're not going to meet a woman and she tell you she stole a candy bar at 14 years old. Oh, no, I can't do that. I don't do thieves. She's always she, Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. We talking about stealing candy bars. You got a whole kid you done popped out, man. This is what we be talking about. Making us pay for water, you son of a... You're making us pay for grapes? Apples? Things that God gave us for free? This is sick work, man. No, I understand something, Mr. X. Now, <laughs> it's my understanding that in some states, stealing the candy bar could get you years in jail. So is it not as intense? Stealing the candy bar and a kid. I used to steal as a kid. When I was a kid, yeah, statute of limitations. I used to go to this Kmart and I used to steal dang there, all the little Hot Wheels cars. Now, <laughs> how you going to hold that against me? I just stole so many hot milk, hot wheels cars as a kid. You can't count. Now, would well, that make me a bad person? No. But if I was sitting up here with fifty lamb bastard children trying to talk like this, y'all be like, Mister Walker, sit down somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, HQ? You been back there? What you hearing? I, I mean, uh, I see the, the, I see the whole hypocrisy thing. I mean, now I, I'm sort of, I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. I mean, at first, you know, I didn't, but I, I get it now. 
you it's a series of bad decisions all the way around, right? Abusive relationship, 12 years, kid at 15, pregnant at 15, a kid on a dating show. I mean, bad decisions all the way around, right? And the whole point is we we get it. You you deserve you, you want another chance, but how can we trust your next chance? We can't. And that's the problem. It's a bad, it's a bad thing to say, but we can't trust your next relationship. And so I, I feel the same, I feel about her the same way I feel about uh 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 Cam Newton. I, I cannot trust you because your decisions have been mad, bad. It don't well, matter Cam, whether you got money, it, wait, it don't matter. You, what do you, you mean? Cam got all his kids. What are you talking no, about? That you still got three baby mamas. So you what? He got all his kids. It don't matter. You still, you don't, still decided that this 304 was the baby mama. It don't matter. He got all his kids. It don't nope, matter. No, nope, no, nope. it's still the same. Listen, even the doctor apologized. Even that doctor no. apologized. Now you apologize. Don't you talk to it's don't know the bad me. decisions. That man got all his it kids. don't matter. He He's still out. decided he was gonna make three no, three oh fours his I, baby I, mom. I mean, I, I, I'm taking Cam's back. Cam was married before. No. He was married to a baby mama and she broke his heart. She created the monster that is cam today he ain't no monster he he's just evolved and he figured life him. out don't be mad at him he still got three baby mamas so we got all his kids forget them same got thing same same thing with same brother thing. nick cannon they I, got and his, nick you know, cannon same they way i look at him in the same way like mr walker said he had his first he was married to his first baby mama and it was traumatic and these guys they don't want to be married no more you can't hold that against them Yes, we can. They, they both still, literally they both still of these made, guys were they still they both, made bad decisions, right? Granted, now granted, but they you both decided were, you was gonna make all these women your baby. They mama. were married by they were them, they, these two guys married their women and they got you married the first one, and then oh, you decided you was gonna get all these baby say this, H2. The bottom line is they are getting their desired outcomes, and she is not. That's a fact. You still made decisions. No, that I hear what you're saying. That, that's your opinion. You can right have here. your own opinion. But that's what I'm saying. I'm saying you don't have all these. Nick Cannon don't have all his children under his roof. He got children being raised by somebody else. And, and with you, all that you have said, decided that you did not want to live in the same household as your children. That you, all that being said, they are still okay. getting their desired outcomes. So it don't matter what any of us say up here about Cam Newton and Nick Cannon. I just but this woman here, lower level. This, woman, this woman, she's getting no desired outcomes. So we all can chime in on this. Yeah. Back. They they all on the same level. <laughs> so here we go. Let me take it back a second. Hit the like button. Yeah. Decision making skills. Yeah. You know, in but that's past. now. Yeah, that's in the, past. in the past. So you're not going to meet a woman and she tell you she stole a candy bar at 14 years old. Oh, no, I can't do that. I don't do thieves. She's all. She, yeah, right. she was a kid. She made a mistake. She ate that and is the, the candy bar is gone. So in my situation, I feel like I ate that. I ate that relationship that I went through. I, I ate being a young teenage parent. I ate it. Like the young kids say, you ate. I feel like I ate. I've grown from that. I'm not that person that I was. The relationship so why? is awesome, but the key you you're bearing the the, the man's children. All right. <laughs> so Janae, um, holy hell, she ate that. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? She, she said, "What the kids say? What they say? I ate that. Yeah, I got knocked up at 15. I ate that, and you still chewing on it. You've been chewing on it for 25 years." You're going to be chewing on it till you go to the grave. It's it's tough. It's <laughs> she said she ate that. Like, no. If you ate it, you then digested it and pooed it out. Like I said, you still chewing on it like a cow chewing a cud. She just still chewing on it. And that's, and that's why she's making that screwed up face because she's still chewing on it. I ate that. That was so masculine and brutish. I say that. Uh, I eat that. You know, that's what it do. Say, I knock you. I eat that. What you gonna do? Ain't gonna hurt me. She said, I ate them kids. <laughs> but did she eat it or did the children eat it? Mm. Ah, mm. there mm. you go. They did. They ate that. I, I was, guarantee they ate it. And right. she was just out here trying to catch a date. You know? Right. 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 That's it. Yeah, the whole time, they ate it. 
Yeah, the whole time they've been missing out on having a two parent household, but she's still been getting meat as if there was a husband around. She's still getting meat every night as if there's a man, a husband of her children, but they get no daddy. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. So here we go. Take it mm. back.